Hey everyone, it's Michael from Note Folds, and today I'm going to show you how to make some quick and easy sucker tags. You can see I've put these on to some Tootsie Pops here, and they're really easy to make. I did a, like 30 of them in 10 minutes or so, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how it's done. Get these out of the way. So the first thing was I just started with some cream paper stock, and you'll see why I distressed the edges so that way it kind of looks old and vintage. And then I used a couple of nestabilities here. So this one is from Stampin' Up. It's kind of got this uh, jagged spiral edge. And then I've got this name badge. And just cut those out of the cream stock. The next thing I did was distress the edges using my Tim Holtz Distress Ink and my distressing tool there. So then what I ended up was, with was this. And you can see just went around the edges there on both sides of these. Next thing I did was stamped a few different designs here. And these stamps aren't from anywhere uh, in particular. So I think I got them out of the dollar bin one year. So, um, oh, and also on the back, got a stamp that I made them. And the colors that I used were from Stampin' Up. So I've got Old Olive here, Pumpkin Pie, very appropriate. Blackberry Bliss, that's our purple. And then I stamped my name in the basic black and you notice the basic black really kind of comes out more gray than anything. So keep that in mind if you're using that. And then here are the stamps I use. Like I said, nothing too special. I think they came out of the dollar bin somewhere. So the next thing I did was I took my Cropodile tool and on the 3 16th side, I set it to about a quarter inch bite so that I could punch the holes in. Let me bring these back in. So here are some with the holes punched. So I just punched two holes on either side of each one of these things. And this is where you're going to thread the stick through. The final thing that I did to just kind of make these a little more interesting was I added some stickers. So you can see I added a um, spider sticker onto the web and then a web sticker onto my boo and the hop happy Halloween. And those didn't come from a very particular set. Some recollections from Michael's. You can see I got it out of the clearance bin. And what better way to use those than right now? So then finally, you know, you just thread the sucker through. So put it through on the top, bring it down through, push it back up through the bottom. And that's all there is to it. Looks pretty great. And like I said, I was able to get through about 30 of these in 10 minutes. So this is something quick and easy you can do to make it more interesting for your trick-or-treaters. I'm actually going to take these into my office Halloween party, so I hope they enjoy them. And I hope you enjoyed them too. So if you do this, let me know in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.